Today, you will learn how to use and compare different lighting systems in VR Experience. Let's start by creating a new project in VR Experience. For that, we need to select a lighting system for our project. The VR Experience Tools section allows to analyze rendering and light distribution, both in static and dynamic conditions. Five modes are available color, luminance, illuminance, iso lines, and iso areas. The aiming ball activation helps to analyze and measure the low beam cutoff line. Now let's open another lighting based on an XMP spectral file and compare it with the default lighting system based on an IES file. To easily compare the two lighting systems, you can activate the aiming ball. You can notice the color difference at the cutoff line when you switch between the different lighting configurations. You can also compare the light functions of the same lighting system or of different lighting systems. In this example, let's compare the high beam light function of two lighting systems. To do so, we need to open another lighting system using multiple light sources for the high beam function. You can compare quickly the high beam function of the different lighting systems in the headroom section. In Properties, you have access to the different sources of the different light functions. Also in Properties, you can modify the position and orientation of each module or projector. These functionalities, also accessible through a C++ Simulink and Skate plugin, allows to do an accurate light measurement such as a cutoff line adjusting or dynamic bending light testing. Now we have seen how to compare lighting configurations in a static situation. In the same way, you can also test and compare different lighting systems in a dynamic situation. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more!